Hey, what's up guys, Exalted here. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be giving you guys different tips and tricks to uh, help you improve when it comes to the late game in Fortnite. I've had a lot of people ask me, <clears throat> I can they, they say things like, I can get 10 kills in the beginning, or I can get five kills. I don't have an issue with the beginning or mid game, but the end game, I'm having a lot of trouble with. And the end game, compared to the early game in Fortnite, is completely different. They are almost two different games people play two completely different ways. And so I'm going to be teaching you guys in a live commentary exactly how you want to execute your end game with for the best possible results. So obviously, this is the beginning game, and you don't really need to see that because you guys aren't having issues with that at the moment. It's mainly just the end game. So I will be coming back to you when I'm in about the top 15 to top 20. See you in a sec. All right, guys. So we are back and we are currently in the top 10 right now. The second circle is just about to close. And the first thing that I'm gonna wanna go over with you guys when it comes to late game is I'm gonna wanna go over rotations. Just tagging that player because he looks like a dominant player. He had high ground on that person. All right, <clears throat> so here's the third circle. And when it comes to circles, this is actually a weird circle because it's almost right in the middle. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rotate to the smallest side of the circle. So I'll try to explain this to you real quick. So circles right here, the smallest side of the circle is about this area right here. The biggest side is about this area right here. The dusty, like dusty divot side is the biggest area. Now this is the biggest area, dusty divot, which means it's most likely gonna have more players in it, right? When the zone closes, all these players here are going to be focused in a small range right here. And you're get, and if you're in this small range, you're going to have more players on you, which means you're going to get into more fights and you're going to get third party much more often. Now, when it comes to the late game, the biggest thing that you want to avoid is getting third partied. So you're going to want to rotate to the side of the circle that's the smallest, which is, here's the small side of the circle, which means less people are going to be about over here. And then you're going to want to find some natural high ground. So instead of being down here in the river, I'm probably going to choose to go up here, maybe right there. So I'm going to start rotating there now, which might be a long rotation. And also one thing I did not do because I was explaining this to you guys is when you get, when you get a new circle, when you get when you get a new circle, you're gonna want to push into that circle much sooner than later. So I do hear shots in front of me. They're just sniper shots. A lot of building around here that I'm just looking out for. I don't see anybody around me. I'm gonna get in zone in just a second. So getting in zone will not be an issue. And I'm gonna start rotating all the way down to salty side. I see people fighting over there. And when it comes to about the top 13 to top like six, I almost never engage top 13 to top six. The reason why is because there are so many players in this small area within the next minute that are gonna collapse on you and you're going to get third party. Now I see a player over there, I hear them fighting, I'm not gonna engage yet. I'm not gonna engage till at least the top five because I don't wanna get third party. There's no point in engaging in this fight. And I hear there's two people fighting here. I actually might push this now because I know this player is weak or else he would not have boxed up like this. And then I see more people fighting over there. Yeah, so I'm currently getting third partied by that player, so I'm just going to ignore this engage. It can only be detrimental to me. You don't need to bring too much attention to yourself. So I'm just going to walk up this mountain and kind of sit here for a second. I'm going to watch and look out for players that are rotating inside the zone here. See if I can get any easy picks. And uh, we'll go from there. So I currently don't see anybody actually. And I see people up there. I might be able to get a few headshots on him. Nothing special. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Kid got him. GG. Alright, so I got zone again. 
So I actually got circle in this situation. We'll take a look here. I'm going to want to rotate to the smaller side. <clears throat> now I'm currently on a pretty small side and I have good high ground, so I'm probably going to stay here. The bigger side is here. There's going to be a lot of people in this area that are going to get closed into right here, so I'm going to avoid this top area right here. You can see there's a lot of people fighting over there in Salty, so there's no point in me rotating over there. And we're currently in the top six. And this is when, now once we get to the top six, aside from rotations, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, if you are not, if you don't have decent equips or if you're low on ammo, if you're low on mats, this is about the time, top five, when you're going to want to find a player and you're going to want to pick him off as soon as you possibly can to get his, uh, to get his items, to get his mats, to get his whatever it might be. <clears throat> so usually top five, I will usually target one player real quick to set me up for the top two fight. I'm just tagging players, making them weak, so it's easier for me in the late game. Now, when it comes to the late game, I almost always run the same items. I use a shotgun, an SMG, an AR, and a ranged item. Whether that's a sniper, whether it's this thermal, whether it's a scoped AR. Range is really good because that player is boxing up. He might be low on materials, which is why he's using brick, but he could just be trying to build his base. So I really like range because you can just sit here really safely and just kind of like shoot at players a little bit. Now I don't really take sniper fights. So like if a player starts targeting me with their sniper, I'm probably going to disengage and I'm probably not going to fight that player because that would be considered what I like to consider a 50-50 fight. Now a 50-50 fight is pretty much shotgun fights and sniper fights. They're fights where it could go either way and it's mainly... It's mainly dependent on luck. So here I'm looking really good. I've got a lot of mats. I could use a better AR. And right now I'm going to be waiting for an opportunity to third party someone. Whether it's whether it's that player over there or a player over there. So I'm still in a really good position. Now I might not be in zone. But I can quickly just roll down this mountain and drop into the zone. If I was over, if I was over by that player's base over there, I would immediately come down and get to this zone before anybody else so I could wait for them, have my base ready, and hopefully kill more players. So I'm actually just going to continue to hold this mountain. I'm not going to do anything, and this guy's actually shooting at me. This is the first time I've been targeted. And so I'm just going to build him off a little bit and look around. Now, the reason why he's shooting at me is because he knows I'm kind of close to the circle and he knows I could be a pain and he potentially wants to get me weaker. That was unfortunate. All right. So we took a crack, <clears throat> mainly just because I wasn't paying attention. This player looks like a decent player. So what I'm going to do, he could potentially be pushing me, is I'm just going to build up a little bit. There's nothing in building up. Then also, this player over here was thermal AR in me, so I'm just going to block him off. I'm going to play this super passive. Wasting that player's mats. And I'm just going to kind of wait for zone to push all the players in. So here's the late game, it's really campy, but it's all about positioning. When it comes to positioning, are those at me? They are, but they're not reaching. This player really wants to snipe me. We've got a ton of players that are about to fight right here. And I've got to move into zone. I'm going to move the back part of zone. Okay, I've actually got zone right here.
All right, so we killed that player. Wasn't too difficult. And I've got zone. Oh. I'm going to heal up real quick. I've got zone. All about positioning. If I didn't have zone, I would be pushing to zone as soon as possible. So we've got one player behind that tree right there. I'm going to block this player off and hopefully get a shot or two on him. I'm pushing this high ground right here. All right, so I just heard them exchange shots. So I'm just gonna pressure this player with spam. I've got high ground, I've got zone. So he's going to have to come to me when it comes to this. So I'm just going to play it safe. I'm not going to do much. There's no reason to engage myself, especially when I'm this weak. So I've noticed he dropped to low ground. I'm just going to chill. So mainly when it becomes to these late game situations, it's all about rotations. He might be pushing me. Yeah, I just shot him out. I don't want him just wasting his mats. I don't want him to come up to my high ground. I'm starting to rotate zone while maintaining this high ground over here. And he's in such a terrible position. So when it comes to the late game, it is all about positioning. It's all about where you position yourself in the circles. It's all about avoiding the points where everyone is going to meet up in one spot. And it's all about avoiding third part, being third partied. Not one time in this entire game or this entire late game did I get third partied. This was a really easy win. If I didn't get sniped, I would have technically lost almost zero health. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Use zone to your advantage, play the late game smart, which means rush into circles as soon as possible, rush into the small sides, rush into the small sides of the circles. And um, when it comes to like zone changing, sometimes that is luck, but you can do a lot of things about it. Push to the zone before other players so that they have to get pushed into you and you can shoot during and you can shoot them during that. So that's the biggest thing you need to focus on when it comes to late game. On top of that, just don't get third partied. There's nothing wrong with playing passive. Now, if you guys would like me to make a video on how to play the late game, if you're going for high kill, if you're going for high kill wins, I can do that. Let me know in the comment section. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit and I will see you guys in the next video.